A lot of the movie talks about if you can lie enough to create your own truth and things. I was, I was wondering whether you, you got the sense that Joyce has really convinced herself that her version is true or whether she's really just a tremendous actress. Uh, don't know. I think there is a lot of truth to the extent that I know what the truth is in this story to what Joyce says. And I do believe that Joyce in turn believes her account. But there are things we'll never know. I mean, there are things that, that may not be knowable. Uh, take this love cottage. Supposedly, Kirk Anderson was raped in this love cottage off the coast of England. Uh, there were three people there that weekend. One is dead. Uh, one won't speak to me under any circumstances. And the third is Joyce McKinney. So you tell me what happened. And, and I mean, it seems like uh, like a lot of your films kind of touch on these themes of obsession and kind of the, the murky nature of, of the truth. I was, I was wondering if there were movies... I, I actually, I always feel I need to correct this, this view. The truth itself is not murky, per se. Um, something happened in that love cottage. Uh, we may not be able to ever know for sure what that is. I don't believe the truth is murky. I made a whole movie about a murder uh, in Dallas where I was able to overturn a conviction and get an innocent man out of prison. Uh, nothing murky about who pulled the trigger, um, who killed the cop, but our attempts to grab a hold of the truth, our attempts to find out what really happened, can be difficult, problematic, confused, torturous. I was actually curious about what your thoughts about where the law fits into the idea of the search for truth. Um, I'm one of these people that believes that the law ultimately has to be concerned with the search for truth. Because if we have any fundamental idea of fairness or justice, um, it's not enough to say we've gone through a correct set of procedures and we've sentenced a man to death. We want to know that we've got the right man, that he really did it. Um, so to me the two are uh, inextricably connected. I can't see how you can ever have justice and fairness without a concern for truth. Quite simply. Um, but we live at a time now where the courts have become more and more concerned with just mere procedure and less interested in what really happened. And to me that's a bad thing. It's not a good thing, it's a bad thing.